Hey ladies, I am back with another nail tutorial on this Burberry inspired design. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hey pretty girls, it is Chatney with The Dip Life. And listen, don't judge me. I just broke my nail. So let's go ahead and fix it. So as you can see, I am taking my drill and I am using my method to drill in between the acrylic to put a dent into it so I can quickly lift it off. Usually if there's a little bit of lifting, I use this, but this time girl, she just was not going. She was not ready to come off. So I had to use the acetone and I got that little clip from Amazon. I'll put that down below. You just clip it on your finger after putting some acetone on a cotton ball and you go on to the next. Um, here I am going to drill off my old design. If you did not catch that design or if you're interested on doing that design, I will put a link up above to where you can view that video. But stick around for this one first and then go and look at that design and that tutorial uh, that I posted of those nails. So I'm just going to use my drill to go ahead and get the previous design off. And be really careful when you're using the drill, guys. Make sure that you are cleaning very thoroughly afterwards. Here, I'm just going to check to see how well the acrylic is soaking off the broken nail. Of course, y'all see it ain't going nowhere. So I had to go ahead and put that back on. Here, I'm going to push my cuticles back. It's very important each time that you do a fill-in or a new set, you push the cuticles back and you clean the cuticle area. As y'all know, this is my favorite part. So I'm just going to clean off the cuticles and make sure that I seal in the previous acrylic, shape them. And as you can see, I am going to straighten up the end of my nail just to make sure that it is sharp again uh, in detail with the shaping. I'm trying to get that acrylic off. Girl, it's just not going. It's not going. So here we are for a third time. Bloop, put that back on. Okay. Now we're going to prime the nail. You only want to prime the hand that you're working with at the moment so it can be fresh and ready to actually bond with the acrylic. So that is the consistency of the bead. Sorry, it was a little blurry. Now I'm showing you this angle because I am putting the bead a little bit away from my cuticle area and I'm pressing down with the middle of the brush. Now I'm showing you this angle because I want you to see how I'm holding my finger downward as I am applying the acrylic. This helps gravity to help you out. So after you are applying the bead, let it run down um, and then swipe to finish it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the other areas on my other fingers. I am rebuilding my apex um, and any dents and areas that need to be filled in from me fouling the old set and old design off. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to finish and do that. Also make sure that you wipe the sides off really good. And that is my application. Very smooth finish. I'm going to go ahead and finish out my thumb. Evaluate it. And let's get back to this finger, girl. So I'm going to try and file the rest of it off. And eventually, I just said forget it. And it popped off finally. So we're going to go ahead and file that with a regular file because my nail was sensitive from hitting it. I'm going to clean my cuticle area and I'm going to apply a new nail tip. Now, in order for me to fit it flush to my nails, I'm going to cut the ends of the tip. I'm going to cut my actual nail and I'm going to file my natural nail so it can apply smoothly. I am brushing off any extra dirt and debris. I'm gonna apply the glue as well as the nail, hold it for a few seconds to make sure that it is flush. And I am going to blend the tip into my natural nail. I had to turn it around so I can see the length while cutting it. Brush it off again. Make sure that you put some primer and bond on it. And here I'm just going to put a very thin layer of acrylic 
where the tip meets the natural nail because mine was kind of weak and broke in that area and then i'm going to go ahead and build the nail up y'all it hurts so bad when i hit my hand on that dog i made a post on my instagram page if you're not following me at the dip life that uh a broken nail or a nail injury is worse than a bullet shot in a gunshot wound it hurts so bad okay so here i am just going to foul the acrylic get it shaped the way it needs to be make sure my cuticle area is clean and my finish is shaped up nicely with my shape and voila i have repaired my nail uh here i decided to make my pointer finger a stiletto since I was changing up the style, I'm going to hand foul to smooth out the acrylic, and it's so cute. All right, now it's time for the designs, which is probably what you clicked on this video for. I got these new utensils. Uh, there is a daughter, about five of them, as well as all types of design brushes and art brushes. Guys, it is so imperative that you get the right art brush to save you stress and time okay i'm not really good at drawing and nail art so the brushes have to be on point for me i did get them from amazon i will link them down below now here is the nails with the french chip i do those first in black um this trick i learned on tiktok so you're just gonna make two lines up and then you're gonna make a swoosh going across the top where you want the tip uh, to start so after that I'm going to fill that in with my gel tip this is gel polish and you will see me curing the gel polish with each coat so make sure you fill that in don't forget to get the tip after you have filled it in to clean it up get you a cleanup brush and some acetone and go in and perfect the lining always make sure you assess the nail and how it looks I wanted my line to go up a little bit more since my nail is long so I'm doing that now and I'm just filling in the sides as well and I'm gonna go over to the next nail which is my middle middle nail and do the same thing It's just something about that deep smile line, y'all, that I love. It's so pretty already. So that's going to go into the curing lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm going to put on a second coat. You put on as many thin coats as you need to to make sure that the nail is covered and that the color is popping. Look at that black shining through. Ooh, y'all. So I'm going to do one more on my thumb. And I'm going to use the same method. Two lines on the side, a swoosh or a U shape, and then fill it in and clean it up. It's so easy, guys. I either like doing it with that or doing it with acrylic. Now, here is the Burberry uh, inspired nail. I, again, my hand is shaky, baby, y'all, but I'm trying. So don't get discouraged. Take your time and um, go slow. You're going to make a white line going up the nail. That's also with uh, gel polish. I decided to do both stiletto nails with the pattern. So you'll see me repeat these steps on both of those nails. Once you have the white line going all the way up, you're going to make one line going across at the bottom. Then you're going to go at the top and make another line at the top. And just clean up as you go or you can do the design and then clean up afterwards. I kind of like to clean up as I go so I can see what I'm doing. Because sometimes, child, I, it don't look like what I'm trying to draw. And if you mess up, start over again. Uh, in between the colors, I like to cure. So I'll do the white, cure the white, do the black, cure the black, then do the red and cure the red. So I'm repeating the same steps on my pointer finger on the stiletto one white line going down the center of the nail and two white lines going across now here is the black you're going to make 
one black outline going up the nail, a second outline going on the other side. And this was so hard for me to get, y'all. I feel like I was breaking my finger. Now with gel, just know that it tends to kind of spread once you put it on your finger. So you have to go back and clean up as you go. All right, so that's what you should have so far. Now moving on, you're gonna make a black outline going across the nail as well. So pretty much you're outlining the white. Once you got your outline, you're gonna go back and you're gonna put one black thin line going down the middle of the nail and as well across the nail. And then here I'm applying the red. The red goes a little bit above the bottom line in the center. And then one red line going upward on the outside. Everyone has their different ways of doing it, but this is what I prefer, especially if you're doing it on a stiletto shape nail. So here I am just repeating the steps. And if you need to rewind this, take as many times as you need to go back and look at this. But I had a, a person here that I was looking at y'all and I was like, honey, this is about as close as I'm gonna be able to get to it. So it's only lines. You don't have to be an artist for this. You don't have to uh, be the great painter for this. And any mistakes that you make, you can go and clean them up or try to correct them or start over. There is no right way. It's all a learning process. And I'm just going on uh, back through these lines to make them darker and a little bit more precise, as you can see. Girl, it's starting to be so pretty, honey. I thought, I, man, you couldn't tell me I wasn't drawing for 10 years. So I'm gonna add those red lines and there I am cleaning them up. And I thought that it was so freaking cute, y'all. I thought that the design worked perfectly for the shapes that I had and it just all came together. So my hands are sticky from the gel, y'all. So um, I wanted to go ahead and apply my clear coats. I was debating between making some of them matte, but honey, I had already just thought I did the the world's hardest job that took me 10 hours to do so i was like let's just not make this more difficult just go ahead and shine them up and i'm so happy with the decision that i made so if you like this design or you like this video please like comment and subscribe turn on your notification for the next video to come join our gang let's grow together and let's kill these nails guys Thanks so much for watching again. Until next time, I love you, I love you, I love you.